Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do this braid. It's based on fishtail braids. It looks complicated, but once you get the hang of how to do the fishtail braid, it's easy. All you have to do is split your hair like in three parts, put it all together, and then you get this really nice braid that looks like it took you guys hours to do, but in reality, probably a few minutes. Once you get the hang of the fishtail braid, very easy. So hope you guys like it. If you guys do, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. my hair I want to make sure that there's no tangles in my hair once that's done I'm going to be adding Garnier Whole Blends coconut oil and this is just to help my hair look shiny and healthy I use two pumps then rub it between my hands to warm it up and then I'm gonna apply it to my hair I feel warming up this product just a bit helps it spread evenly on the hair. Make sure you do not forget about your ends. Here I'm grabbing my Crest Rat Tail Comb to split my hair evenly in half. You don't have to split it in the middle, you can actually do a side parting if you wish. Either way, this hairstyle will look nice. We will now divide our hair into three parts. I'm just going to roughly map it out. You want your side parts to go down at an angle. To do the middle section, you want to put your two fingers of where you're going to start the parting and move it downwards making a half circle. Once you have your parting section out, you want to add a clip to them. We don't want any of our parts to mix with each other. By doing this, it will make the braiding easier. To begin, we're grabbing just a piece of hair from our front and we're going to split it in two. I'm going to label the strand on the back section number one and the one in the front section number two. So grab a strand from section number two and put it under and then adding it to section number one. Did you see that? That strand goes under section number two towards section number one. Grab a strand from section number one and move it under and move it towards section number two. One more time. Grab a strand from section number one and move it under and move it towards section number two. I repeat the same step, grabbing a strand from the section number two and moving it under towards section number one. But before going to section number one, I will grab a piece of hair from the side and move it towards section number one. Again, move a strand from section number one under towards number two, grab some hair from the side and attach it to section number two. You keep going until there's no more hair to add. Once I get to my ear section, I'm just switching my hands and braiding back. Still doing the same steps as before, just braiding it back. By doing this, you will have less puckering and lumps when we attach the braids together. I switch my hand again and bring it to the front to make it easier to braid. Here 
here it becomes harder to continue the fishtail, so I'm just going to do a regular braid. Then tying it off with an elastic. And now to our last section. Grab some hair. Split it in two. Grab strand from section number one. Under towards section number two. Strand from section number two. Under towards section number one. And then you repeat the same steps. As we go down the braid, we'll be adding hair from the side. Now that we have our three sections, we will start attaching them. So here I grab both side parts and crisscross them over each other above the middle fishtail. And then I'm going to continue crisscrossing them. The middle braid will not move, just the side braids. The side braids are the ones that are going to crisscross over the middle braid. Crisscross as far as you can go. And then I'm going to tie it off with an elastic. Now we're going to attach that strand to the middle braid. I'm going to grab a bobby pin and I'm just going to weave that in. Now the hairstyle looks nice like this. But I always like to pull a few strands out to frame my face. And there you have it. A cute hairstyle for spring and summer. Hope you girls liked it. Until the next time. Bye.